Before I start this video, before I started this trip to Maribor, I was uh, checking out and I told the, the guy asked me well, where I was going. I said I was going to uh, Maribor and then on the way back I was going to stop in this other town which is between Maribor and the capital Ljubljana and I was saying the name so wrong, so wrong. The guy had no idea what I was saying. I was basically saying Soji. Soji, like Soji. The guy had like no idea. Because the 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 town the ends the, the name of the town ends with the letters J E and I didn't know that meant Ia. It's pronounced Ia. It's I thought it was J E like like J. So I was like and the guy's like, here, type it into the computer, type it into the computer. And I was like, uh, I don't know, for some reason I was freaked out about typing it into the computer. But I, I could write it with like a pen on a paper. I thought if I went to the computer, my mind would freeze. And so I, I wrote it, C-E-L-J-E. -E, and he's like, Celia, Celia. I had no idea C-E-L-J-E -E was Celia. But then I realized whenever you see a... A word in Slovenia, in Slovene, and it ends with J E. That's pronounced like Ia, like, like Celia or Polia, Polia, something like that. Okay, I don't really know, but it was really bad. I had to share that before I started this video. But before we get to Celia, we're going to visit Maribor. And as such, I arrived in Maribor via a bus i took a bus the bus station is right here this is the whole this is the whole city north of the river drava and if you take the bus you arrive right here if you take the train you arrive right here and i had to walk all the way to the only place i could find on booking.com that was available and in my price range and that was the hostel m and it was down this road. It was also down the river, across the river, and across like a bigger road. And then when you cross a bigger road, you have to cut through this community to get to the Hostel M. It's basically, like I said, two miles from the bus station. And then when I was off in that area, I went to a grocery store. And they don't have express lines over there like they do back here in the USA. And I was standing behind someone, and they had like a lot of uh, groceries. And they said something in their language, which I assumed it was like, uh, since you only have one item, you can like cut in front of me. So I just cut in front of me. And then I realized, I don't really know what they said to me. I just assumed they said that. And so I was kind of like, okay, well, I think that's what they said. So I got that. And then I got my, uh, my bottle of water and walked on. And then after that... I wanted to walk back to the city center, so it was another two miles back, and then I crossed over the the river, and then I went through the this little area, this little square, and I basically uh, just hung out for the day. And then the next day, I was going to meet up with someone in front of the train station, and then go take a drum lesson. And later that evening, I was invited to hang out at a band rehearsal and that brought me over to this area for a while then when the next morning came it was back to the train station to hop a train to salia when i arrived in salia i came out of that building in the background that's the train station and that statue right there of the lady with the suitcase she's the famous traveling lady from Slovenia. Her name is Alma Carlin. In 1919, she went on a nine-year journey around the world and thus becoming one of the first European women to travel alone around the world. Returning home in 1928 at the request of her dying mother, Alma was physically exhausted with illness and depression when she came back home and she never traveled again. That story really bummed me out. Fortunately, I had a reservation at the MCC Hostel in Salia 
and I was able to check in early. The photo you are looking at is inside my room. My room was the ninja room. Each room has its own theme and that was the ninja room. So far the only thing ninja about it was there was a ninja uniform inside the closet. I did not put it on. I did look out that little window and this is the view looking out that little window. The train station is a block or two down that road to the right. And then I walked back to the traveling statue lady and then I found I found another statue. There was a statue of a guy like a photographer in a bike. And then I walked a little farther around and where that arrow is, if you follow that arrow, you'll find a nice little place to buy a slice of pizza. That's where I ate dinner. 